Welcome back to ABC Paddlers and this time we're at the Rochdale Canal uh, we're going from Salby Bridge up to Hebden Bridge uh, and it's uh, around 10 miles and it took us about five and a half hours uh, we're using the Nicholson guides as we usually do this is book number five and on pages 202 to 203 you'll find where we are uh, we're also using what three words to let you know our exact locations Salby Bridge then is just northwest of Huddersfield we parked in the Tuol car park, uh, which is right by the canal. So here we are at the Rochdale Canal, just uh, in Salby Bridge. Um, the lock is there, and there's a tunnel just beyond that. Apparently, it's one of the deepest locks. Okay. Well, we're going to be getting Brian on the water here, and then we're going to be travelling in that direction towards Hebden Bridge. Well, we've just left Sowerby Bridge on our trip up to Hebden Bridge along the Rochdale Canal. Um, the little bit that we've just done out of Sowerby Bridge, the canal is uh, not, not the nicest we've come across. Uh, lots of scum and lots of um, rubbish in the water. We'll try and get some on the way back um, in our uh, litter picker. But it's a gorgeous day and uh, hopefully we'll have a nice little paddle. The wind seems to have dropped down here now, uh, so hopefully you're hearing me okay. Uh, and I've got the gimbal working, so hopefully the video footage will be uh, a little smoother this time. We're now approaching um, Sowerby Long Bridge. Uh, which we can't see light from the other side of it so it looks to us like a tunnel at the moment but we shall see hopefully uh, it won't be too long and we can get out of the side be prepared for cats echo <laughs> Just in there, there's a little family of ducks. You can see the mother and father there, but just in amongst those uh, waterside reeds, there's just two or three little ducklings. Unfortunately, we've frightened them in there, so I don't think you're gonna get to see them. So this narrative is a bit pointless, really. <laughs> I'm sure everyone's seen ducklings before. Now entering our first tunnel. It's very dark. I say it's a tunnel, it's not really a tunnel, it's just a long bridge. We can see a light at the end of the tunnel, which is always good. Here we go, through the tunnel. Well, we're now approaching our first lock on this stretch of the Rochdale Canal. Um, there's two locks. Oh, oh we've got a heron in the field there, look. Okay. You just, oh, there's two herons there, look. If you can see them just through there. We 
we're just passing them and they're on the field as opposed to being in the water where herons usually are. So yeah, this is the Edward Kilner lot, the first of the two locks we think we'll be passing. We may pass a third before we actually get into Edward Bridge, it just depends on how far we go up um, the canal in this direction. But at the moment it's a glorious day and we've had a fantastic paddle so far. So we're going to exit the lock here and then we're going to use our newly made Brian wheels to try and get us um, over the other side of the lock and back into the water. I made a little cradle for Brian to sit in to allow us to uh, travel over longer distances without having to carry him. And this is Kath uh, working hard as usual. It wasn't my idea, it was Kath's idea to prove that you can move um, Brian on a little cradle just by yourself. Um, normally there'd be obviously two of us. It seemed to work quite well. We're now heading in towards Hebden Bridge itself, looking for somewhere to stop and have something to eat and a drink. Gorgeous views along here as we pass uh, residential areas on the banks of the canal. So we're now approaching Broad Bottom Lock. And we'll disembark here, portage Brian round the lock, and then it's about another kilometre and a half until we get to Hebden Bridge. And we'll see what we've got when we get there. Well, we've arrived at Hebden Bridge and we've just moored Brian up down here. If you can see him down there. There he is. Just moored him here alongside these other boats. Now there's a, a, um, a pub we believe across the other side of the water there. But then on this side there is a cafe in the park. So we're just going to go and explore that and see if we can't get something to eat and a drink before we head back to Sowerby Bridge. So what's this? It's a cafe in the park. Leaving Hebden Bridge now at around half past two, heading back to Sowerby Bridge. Just had a lovely uh, drink at the uh, cafe in the park, the Park Cafe here in Hebden Bridge, and we're now on our what two and a half hour trip back. What a gorgeous paddle this has been! There's nothing quite like paddling in the English countryside, is there? And this is certainly one that's been one of the nicest that we've done for a long while. Um, this is a, a beautiful part of the country from Sowerby Bridge. Uh, this is a village you can explore right up to uh, Hebden Bridge. And you don't need a kayak. It's a, it's a fantastic walk with the towpath uh, going the whole distance from Sowerby Bridge right up to Hebden Bridge where you can grab yourself a, a nice drink and then take an amble back. Walking would take roughly the same time as we've done it in the kayak. Well there goes a lovely chap, Mick, on his uh, kayak that he just brought a couple of days ago. And uh, we said we'd give him a shout out on our uh, channel. So, hope you had a cracking day, Mick. And uh, maybe we'll see you again on one of uh, one of the trips that we do in the future. All the best. So we're nearly at the end of our paddle now. We have uh, got an awful lot of rubbish in our bag. Uh, there was no part If you're out on the water, invest in a little bit litter picker and a black bag, and then we can help clean up the waterway. So it's been a fabulous time.
paddle. And now we are going to go get out of Brian just up here until the next adventure. Keep paddling. paddling. <laughs>